Well, hello there, and welcome to another adventure. Today we are going to do something that we have not done previously in this channel, and that is ride our new Sea Dew GTR 230. Just got her from the dealer, um, but even before I take her into the water, I want to make sure that you know, peace of mind is my number one priority. I'll be riding with my little mini me today. So um, before we even put it in the water, I wanna go ahead and install this crucial uh, part, which is the rear step. So we're gonna do an install of the rear step. I'll, you know, walk you through it, videotape it as best as I can. Um, I'm gonna show you, right? Um, we bought the part, I think it was like $215, $218. Uh, we bypassed the install um, fee from the dealer, which I think it was like $75, I believe. And we're just gonna do it ourselves. It's gonna be just that easy. Never done it before. I'm gonna walk you through it and how to do it. Okay, see you soon. It's very important that you um, open the box lay everything out just so you know that you have everything you need so right here we have looks like our hardware pop that over here uh, crappy tape job okay and then Four stainless steel bolts. Four lock nuts. It should be eight. It should be eight washers. See, we have four stainless steel bolts, eight washers, four lock nuts with the vinyl. That will be mounted into these two brackets. So the first step is you're gonna go ahead and grab your bolt, put a washer in, you're gonna slide it through here. Uh, and then when you come on the other side, you're gonna put another washer and then your lock nut. Okay guys, so we're ready to install. This only goes in one way. Um, well, I'll take that back. You can install this the wrong way, but it's really um, hard to install it the wrong way because the sea do part as you can see, it's right here. So this will be mounted, and this will be in the up position here. And then whenever you're gonna mount, uh, get on it, you pull down on this to block, so you don't not put in the pressure here. So just as long as you, <clears throat> when you're installing, you make sure that you see the seed do here, and the brackets are on the flat side, uh, up against it, you should be good. And basically, um, I'm gonna try and videotape it with the, with my other camera, uh, but see me that I'm alone, it's gonna be a little difficult just to uh, mount it, but you will put it in there, it has uh, two bolts on this side, you pass it through, and then you do the same thing on the other side, and then you start, um, uh, you know, tightening it down. So I'll see you in a minute. Well fam, I'm gonna show you <clears throat> how really simple this is actually you don't even need uh another pair of hands it actually locks in place so when you put it in you're gonna go ahead and reach in there and it actually locks in place so put it more or less and then as you can see it's holding it for you so now i'm gonna go ahead and proceed uh i put a one washer on my bolt then i'm just gonna go ahead and 
put it through. needs to be pushed in. Right there. And my other bolt. Push it in. There it goes. Quite a tight fit. Doing the same thing on the other side. Okay guys, so I had to take a, uh, a little hammer and tap it in there just a little bit, just to get it flush. I couldn't by hand just do it. So I put my washer in. All right, so just wanna show you something here. So I got them through, I had to just tap them in just to get them flush. The bolts themselves, uh, you want to put them this way and the nut on the inside. That way you're not, when you're breaching or working in here, you're not getting caught up on that. Also, it does match the factory one, which is this one here, that has a, the nut, as you can see on that side. It's a 10 millimeter um, nut, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to fasten it down. Doesn't look like I can get a ratchet in there, so an open uh, wrench um, will have to do. This is the other side, as you can see. I did have to tap it with a, a hammer just to get it flush. As you can see, it's flush now, but let me go ahead and tighten that down. I'll show you how it works. All right, guys. So. We have a close 10 on this side, ratchet on this side, and we're fastening it down. Okay, I don't want to tighten it just yet. Make sure that, sorry, I don't want to torque it down just yet. I just want to make sure that close enough tight and I could test it before the next before I tighten it all down permanently all right guys I got it um, just not, I didn't torque it down, I just tightened it down just to hold it in place so I can test it. As you can see, pull all the weight here, it's down. This is where you put your feet up, it goes up, and that's where it says the see do. So I'm gonna go ahead, I think it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and torque it down and uh, 
We'll get ready for the water now. All right, Jiggy, you ready for this adventure? Yeah. Wait, wait, we're gonna break it in, right? This is new? Mm-hmm. All right, well, hop in the back then. You got your life safe? You got your, your vest on? Mm -hmm. Good, it's tight. Fits good? <laughs> Safety checks, okay? Sit in the back. Yeah, we had to check the back. Remember those little plugs? Make sure they're in. All right, guys, this is a Sea-Doo 230 GTR. And that's my friend's uh, Yamaha. His is already broken in. He's had his for a year. Just got this one in, so we're going to have to break this in. Ten, ten hours of breaking. All right, Jake, enjoy the ride. Stop. How are we going to start it? You guys can see this but this water it's a lake it's crystal crystal clear I'm assuming it's really, uh, I see a lot of people fishing in here so I'm assuming there's got to be some uh, good-sized bass probably some crappie and uh, everything else you can find in is this salt water. water or clear water it's it's uh the, the term is salt water or fresh water fresh it's Freshwater? Yes, this is a freshwater because it's a lake. Oh. See? So. I need a hand. Okay, you ready? You got some more? All right, let's go. You ready? Yeah. All right, guys, that used to be Shaquille O'Neal's house. Uh, he recently sold it for a whole bunch of million dollars, but it starts from back there all the way there. And that's so the other one starts right there. I don't know who else owns these other houses, but I think uh, Tiger Woods still has a house in here. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know who else. <laughs> Alright, here you go, Jakey. Let's hit it. Tiger Woods. <laughs> what? <clears throat> Got her up to 73, 74, I think. Um, yeah, I think it's fast. The, when you first step on it, it's kind of little, unless you really step on it hard, but if you just ease into it, it kind of feels a little sluggish, but if, the moment you hit the throttle, it really, really does accelerate. I'm not hitting it in uh, sport mode. I don't want to, you know, I'm still kind of breaking it, even though I'm just, told you that I hit it to 74 but yeah no just gonna keep uh, playing around with it and then uh, we're about uh, a little less than half a tank we're gonna hit this a couple more you know turns around here and then call it a day and then just come back out here again hopefully this weekend um, you know see what we can do and just try to get used to it as much as possible it's uh, it's new to me so um, yeah I'm just gonna keep doing you know what I'm doing and uh, yeah, just keep enjoying it. So, um, I'll do an ex ex exit video out here in a minute. I want to see Jakey's reaction. And then uh, we'll say bye until the next video. So, see you at the...
Jake, it's peeing. Jake. Jake. The jet ski's taking a leak. Fisher, you think it is? I don't know. Whoa. They look like they have like a yellowish tail. Oh, yeah. You see them? Yeah, kind of like a yellow fish. Yeah, but yellow fish is uh, uh, salt water. Oh. Grab one. Let me see. Go ahead, go ahead, turn I and grab one. No, see. I can't. What do you mean you can't, it's Jacob? They're so fast. Huh? They're fast. What do you mean they're fast? Aren't you fast <laughs> also? Not in water. Not in the look, water? Look. It's not your element? Look, it's getting water. <laughs> Jake, is that water cold? Kind of. You want to take off your life vest and jump a little bit of water? Get a little bit wet? You can if you want to. Put, put it up here so we don't lose it. Safety first, right? Hey, 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 hey. Put that nice. Put it up nice. I appreciate it. All right. We'll give you <laughs> See if you can catch me a fish with your bare hands. There's a whole bunch of them right there. A whole bunch of them right there. Oh man. <laughs> Carlos, how long have you been coming here? Uh maybe for like ten months. Ten months? It's a pretty pretty cool place, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of uh <laughs> Multi-million dollar. So I was showing Jake uh, Shaq's house that he just recently sold for, for like a gazillion million dollars. I found Good buddy. And with that said, we're back at the house getting ready to clean out the, the sea -Doo. Um Again, really amazing time. But Jake, uh, he was hungry, so he just went inside. He uh, got some McDonald's on the way back. So... But no, it was very fun. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, upload this. If you uh, like this type of um, videos, you know, please uh, give us a share, give us a like, subscribe if you would like, and we will see you here very shortly. I'm going to, uh, next thing is to add the cooler with um, the, the fishing rod holders. So we're gonna get some, some fishing poles and our next video will probably be uh, fishing um, off the sea <clears throat> Uh So again, thank you again for watching. I'll see you on the next adventure.